Turn well, they were a little confused by the decision themselves there. Taking a every last second three. Oh, oh come on, King. Okay. 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 No, yeah, and I think KP needs help in this lane. It's pretty rough to play against the Huskar one on one. But Kaka just TP'd down. Yeah, I think KP realizes, like, I need help, guys. For the most part, I'll make you get it. Rolling Boulder what? going to go forward towards Ace. Instantly starts his TP and needs it to five. <gasps> oh, that was close. Mm, right now. But can the tide stand against the Huska? As you asked that question, he gushed for one creep. So that tells you the sort of everything you need to know about this lane. Okay, get everything. Get everything you can to fuck it. Wrecked. Yeah, SCCC. trouble. SCCC. Oh, boy. There's like a. Tide up there. That guy's really cute. Boogie. Just try and slap Varda down. Enjoying the bonus damage. Meanwhile, on bottom lane, Telekin just grab into the oh, stun from Poppy, but they turn in towards Ace. He can't survive this. Oh, can he? No, he can't. One for one trade off. Ace still got the kill onto, onto Faith a little earlier. Still fine. Nope. No. He was sorry. So you, you don't take runes from Yabsor. That's, that's not the way this game plays out. He has gotten some bounty runes taken from him. Haka grabbed two in a row. It's really amazing how close these lanes are. Even with Fard, like Fard has managed to get a couple of extra levels up now, has borrowed time available. So everyone's doing well. All the supports are even. We talked about the wars being mirror matchup. Now it feels like, oh, until Tidehunter does him. Don't goes for right puppy. underneath the Radium Observer Warden. They're going to find Puppy, but Puppy, he breaks the smoke. Rolling Boulder from Kaka. It's going to miss the initial hit. He can follow up, however, with a couple of stones. And that's when they burn the Exorcism. They want to get through this Ogre, able to do so. And then let the Exorcism six, so their team fight's not that scary yet. And maybe that's the reason, too, why Fada does his TP in. Yeah, they want to try to defend this power out. They're bringing a lot of heroes down here. Ogres already respawned. Newbie, they really wanted to run into Ace if possible. And Fada with his ultimate just running forward oh, now. There's your first stuns, KP. He's dropping real low. Only two stick charges. That's not a lot of life. Ace wants to do a little bit more. If he can just get closer, he can get the jump in. But it won't matter when Fada gives him the slow. KP will fall. And as he's... he's Whereas for Newbie... I think they feel for some reason that they're under the gun and they've got to make plays happen. Oh, here they go. Ace. They're going up to Ace Kaka. A very off target for both the kick and the rolling boulder. Ace is doing a lot of damage, but not enough. He'll end up getting put down, but Exism again being burned by SCCC. Very liberal with the use of this. Or, but he's, he's ready to fight. They want this mid tower. It's pretty low already. Mm -hmm. They can get a good position. This would be... Well, they do a large amount of, like, damage very, very quickly with that Husker, thanks to the fact that he is so low. They start on Faith Karka, rolling boulders forward, gets the kick into that Husker. You've already lost the win to Wyvern, however. KP's but it may not matter when KP... Oh, he dies to Roshan. He was denied to Roshan in this fight. The Prophet, however, locked down the Boundless Strike. It creates bait, and so does the Wukong Command, while Mugi may be stoned in the pit. Put him to do this. But how do you stop this now if you're a newbie? Moogie has to bounce himself as fast as he can towards Roshan, but he's down to 106, uh, 1,600. KP can't get close enough. Control up, mid one fighter and Yamsaw all on his back. They need a little bit more magical damage to pierce that cold embrace. Meanwhile, Ace, he has the Agassi Mortal. The curse creates space, but it's onto a baton, and the space is not enough. The shield... The free Aegis. No response. Is, is that when newbie kind of have to, like, just... Put a foot on the brake. It's like, hey, Mugi TP towards the bottom lane. Why are we coming in close? Why are we trying to contest Roshan with four heroes? And one of those heroes doesn't have their ultimate, the Exorcism. The thing is, is you almost never want to just give it up for free. So you at least want to posture for it and slow things down as Ace grabs a solo. Team Secret smoked up. They want to go on SCCC, but this is a trap. KP waiting in the wings. Yamsaw's going to go for the pickup. KP, the Ravager, connects on all four with the rolling ball to forward the silence. It gets all four as well, combining with the Exus of Ace off. wants to do more for the Wukong Command. It's around Secret on all sides. Fada able to shield up mid one because obviously the mana shield's not enough. Here goes your Agency Mortal Trigger and Hus got no way to get out of this. Newbie for that fight. I really hope we get to see a recap because that was crazy by Secret. They four staff in. That wasn't Yapsor's four staff. That was Medusa's defensive four staff that she needed. And then they hard commit under the tower for a tide. Who gets a free Ravage opportunity. Now Newbie, they're forcing him to the T1 tower. Remember, there is no ulti from him, but a bad and beating the crap out of Ogre. There's your double stun from Moogie. He wants to jump in through the back lines with Borrowed Time. Fada just runs forward. KP once again. The tide melon gets cracked, and Faith will be the sacrificial dragon. Nice, Kaka. Oh, Sentry. Is he out of range? Oh, oh Yapsul! Got him! 
okay, and so they win a fight, and then newbie's like, <laughs> oh, it's 10 seconds into that fight. Yeah, he couldn't. He just got kited. Yep. Locked. Controlled. But back into the game we go. KP once more. Being the first meal. He's the entree to Team Secret's fights. And that tier 3 tower is getting ripped apart. Ace sitting on the stairs. Taking the tier 3 tower. Can go for more. Still no tide. Still no ravage. Curse is on cooldown. Exorcism is on cooldown. The mid racks is almost gone. Ace is so low that the pick up and throw down. There's the curse. It's out on the Husker. He's almost gone, but no, they pull him back. They get out of the Wukong's command. A great disengage from Team Secret. And you know they're itching to go once more. Engagement that they had no they had no reason to do. Like their decision making in this game has been pretty flawless. Mid one standing is ground. The rest of Team Secret backed up to attack the Shrine for half a second. Now KP, Ravage is up. You must be aware of this. He's dropping down low, getting a couple of Burning Spears back. And he's just coming in for it. There goes the Ravage. He'll actually catch them. Ravage stolen by Yamsor. He wants to come back in the again. Counter. There goes the stolen Ravage. But they can't get in close enough. They're running away. I think you play the cooldowns right now. No, they're coming in. The timing is more important on this. They're attacking the tier three. Trying to bring it down. Mid racks, they already took the melee racks there, so they'll have momentum. Oh, the curse. Goodbye, puppy. It was really nice knowing you. Three man silence from SCCC. Makes it so serious. Kaka gonna disengage. Waiting for Dyer's someone to try and defend that bottom lane. Face is the most obvious choice for KP. Right behind him, there's a steal over on the Splinter Blast. But Face just turns the ulti on. I don't think it's gonna be enough damage to kill off Yamsor. Fada hits him four times and then gives him a miss foil. And Puppy, they jump in further. Moogie, he's ready to fight. Wukong Commander Balbo gets a double stun by mid one. He goes in. Stonegaze is turned on. Moogie and KP, they stand on the high ground. But the one who's isolated is SCCC in the middle lane. KP comes comes in for the Ravage, you'll connect on Stolen and Ravage again! Stolen by Yapsor! He's coming in for the fight, he's ready to go, but he's waiting for the right opportunity, just pushes forward, doesn't even need Ravage. Newbie have three heroes who are currently Manure. The mid lane in and then rotate to the top. Fada is already there, shielding up to attack the tier 3 tower, and now it's Newbie who have to fight into a Rubik Ravage. Yeah, now the Tide Hunter is on the other shoot. I don't even know how I'm supposed to say that. Is the top tower going to get taken? Secret is so confident in their team fight. They, Yapsor didn't even have to blow that. GG. That they actually call it. It's a 27 minute GG. Newbie see no way they can stop this. A celebratory ravage. As Yapsor, you can put it this way. He stole the melon seeds. I like that. Spit the pips. Other, but it's a matchup that can get tilted so quickly in one direction or another by a control advantage on either side. Hey! Hey! Over at least having the escape? No, it's okay. It allows you to harass without having to expect mana, which is pretty pretty amazing as... That was a great first play, Kaka. Second play, a little bit wild. Sorry, you have to miss two. Now, wide balls. Paralyzing cast won't bounce. There's that early Maldic level. He's yeah, so he's so toast. Nothing Fada can do to stop him. KP, well played, boys. Well played. A quick orb away from the puck. TP supports coming in, though. Trying to come back. Part Rolling two. boulder. Yeah, Yapsa wants to go for it again, but he's a level one. He's a level one. He asked for it. He can't do anything to stop that. That's got to be... You have to feel pretty sad about that one. You do. Is that there's no observer wards on that side of the map. The only observer ward for the Radiant side is still blocking the camp and looking towards the mid. Okay, he's starting to get low though. Yeah, he's really low. The Nightmare gonna buy some time. Purification's available. You gotta be quick oh, about this. There's so much life! He purifies just in time. Kaka comes in. They're looking towards Ace. Turning on the spring. KP's still gone down. Faith will turn his attention towards Puppy with the Maledict. There goes your crush. Bane has a brain tap. The life comes in. Puppy will pick up a double kill on this safe lane, working with Ace, and that is not the way Newbie saw this going down. Meanwhile, SCCC in middle lane, Yapsaw kicks him back, mid one working with him. They got a little bit more damage, one more swing, one ding. Three hero killing a well-farmed up Moogie Weaver. Very, very satisfied with this. Even the Omni Knight, like, for all the troubles that have happened down there, he's 22. Oh, okay, well, change, change the sleep off. Here comes your rolling ball to forward, paralyzing cars, trying to create a little bit of space, but Faith is dead. He, uh, he kind of took that one for the Kaka. Which Doctor is 
getting crushed right now. He is level 2 at almost 6 minutes. Not the kind of start that he wants. Oh, he can go top and try and recover. Vada actually, he still got the Weaver bug in him. He didn't jaunt out on the back of its illusionary orb. <laughs> Sorry, Cap. Anyways, in mid lane. Oh, Moogie diving after Fada, paralyzing cast. Faith was baiting it out, and there's your orb jumper, Moogie. Ori oh, so deep in that cast. It bounced so far with the Weaver Bugs down. Moogie or Shikuchi through. Shake it's it got timeless to get out of here, and there it is, away from Yamasaur. Gets the kill on it. He down towards the bottom under the cover of smoke. This is scary. Oh, it's still... scarier for Bane. Walks right into him. Paralyzing cast. Malik, that's a big commitment, Puppy. The Nightmare's out. Ace is Eclipse. He's trying to get in range of KP, but the. the... Protection from Repel will do the work. Kick, kick, kick through at the same time as Repel wears off for purification and GA. KP has to stand his ground. He at least avoid the rift and the loser will find the kill. But there is your damage. Puppy is still dealing with the infestation of bugs. They're on the run back out, but negative armor kicks in. It's a one for one trade off that you know newbie want more. They've got three heroes to choose from. Father turns back into the fight. A quick silence to begin. In fact, it's from both sides. The Moogie time lapses off the damage. Meanwhile, in mid lane, mid one's adding the pressure into SCTC. Once again, mid one though is out of mana, and now the TP comes in from the Witch Doctor. Maybe if he gets a good angle, they're pinging him. It's actually the Omni Knight. Omni Knight. Mid got no mana. Yeah, Kark is on the way through as well. So is Moogie. The convergence on mid you lane. Time and this. there's your jump away, but the crush. Kaka is going to hit the money load with the purification, bringing him down. Yep, so wants to help out, and maybe with the silence. No. Repel. He just be as efficient as possible here. S triple C just slowly walks away. There's still that stack to take. SCC is finally coming over for it. Mystic Snake and Farm trying to even get the extra stack onto it. Faith going on mid one. Mid one in trouble. Just left a lot of damage. Way. He's got a lot of one charge. Just turns around to create more of himself to try and beat down Faith. Won't happen, however. Oh, they're coming in. Kaka's in the trees, Faith is there, Moogie. Yeah, everyone's here though. Yeah. They might smoke themselves, I think they're oh, actually... rolling ball. That Yapsos going in onto Faith, the kick comes through, but then the crush! Kaka catching the back line of both mid one as well as Puppy. The cast won't bounce, but the death ward does the work anyway. Two eras gone, both supports down for Secret. And Moogie oh, and KP are on the warpath. He doesn't have Doppelganger away. Another crush with the amplification. They just can't deal. For Blink. No, I think it's a good idea. You think you might scale. Ooh, you might as well just keep up with the rest of your course. Bada? TP? Could be fine. He's fine. They just don't do damage, though. On the side of mid lane. Oh. In strip. Hold the Omni in position. Bought the Midas before death. And now the rest of newbies coming over. Fada, the double silence and the double coil. Oh, They're going to try and kill the kick. The kick, it flies straight through the ancients. They focus on the slaughter. They focus on the controller. And then turn their attention to the next hero. One after one, they all fall down. House of Cards, Faith will be brought down by mid one. It's okay, this is still identical to last game when they had that one suicidal. <laughs> yeah, the push up mid. <laughs> and then. And, and then the counter attack. It'll hold, it'll hold. My theory is. Oh, right oh. now, Moogie is still on defense. Enfeebled up, trying to go towards Puppy. That's a lot of oh, mid-one. He's burned through the mana and the extra silence. Agus Immortal. It's going to be popped, but everyone from Nubia is coming back up. There's your blink forward. Able to get the crush onto Luna, but he didn't get missed. That's so one. much damage. Holy Hannah. Goodbye to the slaughter. SEC. 1480 HP. Dyer's top tower. Thanks that extra ultimate orb he's got. Paralyzing cask. Try to slow things down to make more illusions. The backline slaughter. Thought he had the opportunity, but Puppy grabs him with both hands. And Slaughter will drop. There goes the initiation of Newbie. And look at top. Ace just oh beating on that tower now. And Moogie now being kind of shuffled around the map. Here comes oh, the stone, stone gaze. gaze. SCCD is trying to create a little bit of space. Luna's making her way down. Fada wants to hold him back. Dream calls off cooldown in two seconds time. And Fada can lock in three this heroes. Be a really nice oh, dream coil. And here comes the Eclipse. The kick! It goes through and catches two of them. KP as well as SCC on the stairs. Mid one wants to put in more damage. The Guardian Angel will buy some more time. But with the Magnetize, you can time us off a little bit of that damage. Moogie coming back in for Puppy. No more one charges available. Bankaka. They're all backing up, back into safety. They will survive. The Beatles, oh, he's getting cut out. Kaka, wait for it. Patience. Pa Patience is a virtue. But Orb, Phase Shift, 
John down again. He dream calls to hold three of him position. There's five heroes from Newbie. Vada's trying to get this bloody bug off him. He has to wait oh. once more, and there's the purification. They'll find that. shows himself, and he does. Is He's going to orb this, in this direction. Is this the Mookie? Is this the Mookie moment right oh, now? Oh, no. This is going to be a free Roshan right now. They're sending in the Paralyzing illusions. Paralyzing cast, blowing it down. Yeah, nice Soul with kick. the kick. Catches a lot, and the Eclipse Roshan is still goes the way of SCTC. Mid one, he already kills off Slaughter. They're going to look for more. Maybe they just have the confidence to take the fight, because Ace is killing off Faith and Mookie in the back. Lines. Mookie has to timeless out the damage, but SCTC, the Guardian Angel, will keep him alive. But for how long? KP is still here, but he's running out of mana. He's running out of life. Puppy, Puppy's hiding, just hiding. In the trees. He's a piece Somebody of fire right him. now. They don't see him. Finally, he dies. I think he actually died of what? Degen Aura? It was Ace who gets the kill of the KP. The Aegis Immortal will burn. They hold him in position. The Deucer is dying, and they are all dead, as Ace will claim. But they did it so much smoother, and Newbie was not prepared for that fight. They were clumped up in that Roche pit, and at the same time, the Bane. Puppy kept himself alive for so long that Moogie died trying to go after him with no stuns on him. Oh, Kaka. That was close. You gotta be careful here as Ace, he is so strong right now. There's no buybacks on oh, the side of Newbie. Faith. This is how he holds it. This doesn't work, Faith. Glaives are too powerful. So is the PL. He just goes in deep. Faith's gonna go down as well. They're losing too many heroes. Whoopsie daisy indeed. Mid one gets a double kill. They rotate top. They're looking for the second lane of Rax. They want Meanwhile, everything. the lane that was pushed in bottom has arrived. And mid one's just giving it the extra nudge forward. The Luna tears apart buildings. The Demolisher in Team Secret. They're looking to claim Megas while all the time Deucer is sleeping. They're gonna grab this set of racks. Oh, they have it split up and farm my ass. All they're gonna do is keep pushing. Medusa is back up and living, but so are the big abilities. SCCC, he's trying to get back into the base. Mean one runs forward. He'll try and dodge out with a quick double gang. A puppy holding Deucer in position. Doesn't have a lot of help here. The dream call snap will kick in, and everyone else is running. Puppy will have to take it for the team. His secret did dive in a little bit too deep, but they still have Megas. Third. Wave pushing in, bottom wave, they're doing the same thing. They're cutting off all the exits right now. The lightning storm has arrived for SCTC. He's, he's at least got the point. Styling. He's just pinging people with his Dagon. As now, Ace completes his mechanic. I think all the items are done now. Puppy, Puppy though. Fucked up. Here comes the Amstel. What a kick in silence. He can't stop both of them. Mugi can time lapse off the damage. Doesn't the BKB to fight. Luna, stone to the wall, but now turns on the sun rays. Or the moon rays, you can call it. A double kill for Rays. He's looking for Mugi, but Mugi can't stop see running. him. SCCC is just by himself, all alone, no friends. And GG. Newbie end up being brought down by Secret as Secret gets that winner's bracket final. That was dominant, and now we see a rematch of ESL Hamburg semis, this time.